I've just made a tiny infinite mirror badge to win a contest from a PCB manufacturing company. I will show you how exactly I made it, the ideas I had before creating it and whether I can win the main contest prize of $1000 or not. So, there were only two rules in the contest. The device had to include number 10 and PCB way logo. Optionally, it should be functional, innovative and eye-catching. Functional, for example, like a bottle opener badge. Or an innovative badge with a Geiger counter to show radiation levels. In today's world, you never know when you might need one. Or maybe even a hypnotoad badge. On this channel I have already built some badges, so I could have just used previous ideas, but doing the same thing over and over it's pretty boring. So unfortunately I dumped the previous ideas and started scrolling the internet for inspiration when something caught my view. Infinite mirrors. I thought, wait, that's a perfect solution, I will win with it 100%. Good for me, there were plenty videos of them on YouTube with different designs, shapes and sizes. You can even buy them online. But no one has ever made a tiny one the size of a beige, so in some aspects I will be an innovator. Which is quite hard, I cannot just copy someone's experience and use it, I have to solve all the problems by myself. It took some time until I got an idea I was satisfied with. Designing the electronics part didn't take much time, as it only has LEDs with current limiting resistors powered by a button cell. Nothing complicated. Designing the mechanical parts was a bit more challenging. I wanted all parts to snap together like a Lego parts, to assemble everything without glue. So I added some pimples on one part and holes for them on the other parts. I'm not a mechanical engineer, so hardest part for me was to maintain all the tolerances needed. The problem is that different manufacturing processes and materials have different tolerances. And if a hole on a scheme has a diameter of half millimeter, it doesn't really mean it will be exactly half millimeter in real life. By the way, respect to all mechanical engineers who know how to do it properly. But I don't, so I went YOLO and just made the pimple diameters a little smaller in the hope that everything would fit together. Fortunately for me, all pieces came really fast because I couldn't wait to assemble them. When the main parts are assembled, regular mirror and electronics part at their places, I can move on to the main ingredient, two-way mirror. I tried three different methods to make a two-way mirror. The first one was to 3D print a transparent acrylic piece and stick semi-transparent film to it. The result was mediocre. I don't know what else I expected, because the 3D printed acrylic piece has irregularities in its structure, caused by the layer-by-layer -layer printing process. Those irregularities diffuse light, which I do not need, because the image becomes blurry. I also tried to laser cut transparent acrylic sheet, and it looks much better. Its structure is uniform, and the image we can see through it is quite sharp, so this one is definitely good enough to use. But just to be sure, I also tried third design. I simply bought two-way mirror from an Aliexpress, which is also made from acrylic. Unfortunately, it was a little too big for the page, so I had to cut it by myself. And if, like me, you don't have a tools at home, it can be a little problematic. However, here is a life hack. Just scratch the acrylic sheet with a knife several times and bend it until it snaps. Also, it is better to cut it from two sides. Then I polished it a little, drilled holes, and here is the result. I believe that Aliexpress mirror gives the best look, but making a mirror with a film by myself was much easier, because no acrylic cutting was needed. Also, it was much cheaper. So eventually I built three badges with different colors, planning to try several different designs. And as a tradition of this channel, half of them were crap. Starting with the first one. I wanted to make an eye with an infinite pupil. I found an image on the internet, printed it, stuck it to a round frosted acrylic piece and glued it to the mirror. 
In my imagination, it should have worked, but in reality, the pupil diameter was too small to notice the infinite effect. The second one is similar, but I wanted to make a black hole. Again, nice reference, nice idea, but it looks. eh. So, the second crap design. But wait, now we are coming to a good ones. The red LEDs with a geometric design in the middle. I really liked how it looks. So, as a conclusion, we can say that thin objects in such cases work much better than thick ones. This design definitely gets a like. Good enough. In a continuation of the same idea, I made a badge for the contest I told you at the beginning. As it had to have number 10, I stuck a 3D printed number 10 in the middle and added a diffuser around it. Beforehand, I added a sticker with the PCBWay logo to the diffuser to comply with the contest rules. In my opinion, it looks quite cool. Potentially, I can apply any sticker to this sidewall, getting different results. So, that is the second good result. Good enough to send it to the beige contest. So, that's what I did. I applied it to the contest and started waiting for the results. And the most important question that has to be answered, whether I won or not. And I didn't. All I got is the most creative award. Not the first place, but still quite good. By the way, on the occasion of PCBWay's 10th anniversary, they are giving away some free coupons for their services, as well as special awards and prizes. If you want to start your DIY pass and try designing some parts by yourself, now is the best opportunity. All you need to do to get your reward is follow the link down below. Also, don't forget to check out my previous video where I made a sunset lamp from a camera lens. It is very good.